YouTube, it's your girl Selena, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to this channel, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your post notifications so you can get notified the next time I post another video. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you guys want to get shouted out my next video. So I would like to let you know a little bit about myself. Um, I like to paint, okay? Um, if you haven't watched my um, how I overcame my battle with depression and my battle with addiction. Um, I would highly recommend for you to go watch it. I will leave that at the end of this video as an end screen. Or you can uh, click the link that's above this, above me right here, and watch it first and then come back to this video. You can do whatever you want. But basically, um, just to give you a quick rundown, I basically for three years, I fought. A battle with depression and with addiction and I thank you by the grace of God and by the blood of Jesus I overcame that um, it's been a year and like five months now since I overcame my battle with addiction and depression um, and basically I needed to find myself an outlet I needed to find something that would occupy my mind in my free time and Find something that would help me to escape um, the world just to, f I needed to find something to help me find peace and like, of course we get our peace like that, you know, that's never ending, that, you know, lasts forever, that never goes away from, I get my peace from Jesus. That's real internal peace, you know, but like other things like that brings me joy, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to say other things that bring me peace, I'm going to say other things that bring me joy. So these things, this paintings or painting is one of the things that I have found to bring me joy. Um, basically, like while I was going through that, like those like fighting depression and fighting addiction, like I would sit there and like Google things like things that I could do to make myself feel better or things that could help me get over depression. And one of the things was finding a, finding a hobby that I found on Google. And basically, I just... It was painting. No, first it was cooking. So when I overcame de a depression and addiction, I started cooking and I found out like, you know, I learned how to use different seasonings and I started baking cakes and learning how to decorate them. And then another um, hobby was painting. Well, while I was fighting depression, I did paint a couple of times here and there just because like I was bored or whatever and I just painted or whatever. But now like that I'm like not fighting depression or addiction anymore I do it because I like it and I it entertains me and it brings me joy and it's fun um some of the some of the paintings are some of the paintings are from tutorials that I got from YouTube that I just typed in on YouTube um easy how to paint acrylic paint landscape paintings since I don't think I can paint people like that, I might be able to paint like a stick person or something. But I don't think I would be really good at it. So I just type in the easiest thing that I can find, which is landscape. And um, you can see some of them displayed behind me on the wall. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys some of my paintings and let you guys just get to know me a little bit. Um, eventually... Uh, what I would like to start doing is, especially when I reach my first 1,000 subscribers, um, I do notice that a lot of the YouTubers and stuff, um, when they do giveaways, they do cash giveaways, which we will do that as well, um, and like other gifts and stuff. But I think it would be more meaningful. I mean, we would still do the cash giveaways and stuff, but I think it would be more meaningful to receive uh, a artwork or a painting or you know something that is memorable something that you could keep forever um i wouldn't mind sending one of my lucky subscribers or sending a sending a subscriber a painting you know what i mean like i think that would be very thoughtful and like it would mean more to receive something like that come on like if first and kwan sent me a painting like let, let me just say let's say for instance like if first and kwan sent me like you know, a couple of dollars, like, yeah, I would be excited because then I could use a couple of dollars to go get something for my kids. 
Now, the $100 would be gone, but my kids would still have whatever I bought them because I bought, like, shirts and stuff, stuff to wear. But, like, imagine if they sent me, like, something, like, thoughtful. Like, imagine if a, a YouTuber that you really like send you something thoughtful, such as a painting. Like, that would be more... I just feel like it would be more meaningful, you know what I mean? Like, it would last forever. You could have it forever. You could hang it up. You could always say, like, this YouTuber, Selena, sent me this, and I really like it, and now it's on my wall, and then when people come in, they want to know who did it. Like, I just think it's a good idea. And like I said before, it is one of the outlets that I have come to find out that helped me overcome depression and addiction, and I just want to share these with you guys. Um... So let me just give you guys a quick tour and show you guys my paintings. Um, leave a comment down below, you guys, um, while you're watching this video. If you see a painting that you like, leave a comment down below and let me know which painting you like. And, you know, I, I might send them to you. Like, we could, we could arrange stuff. You could, I could give you my Facebook, which all my stuff, um... All my social medias are the same. They're all Selena Making Moves. So my Instagram is Selena Making Moves. My TikTok is Selena Making Moves. My YouTube is Selena Making Moves. Everything is Selena Making Moves, just so it's easier. So while you're watching this video, if you see a painting that you like, leave a comment down below and let me know. And you can send me a message on Instagram or Messenger or whatever. And I could get your address from you and I will send you a painting, you know? Whatever. So let's just get into it, all right? Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel again, okay, you guys? So I painted this, which is like a sun, it's like a desert scene thing. This I painted on my own. That wasn't a tutorial. This I took it off of Google. Painted that one off of Google. This one I painted by myself without a tutorial. This one was a tutorial. This I did by myself. This one I did by myself. This one I did by myself. And then these are like pouring paints. I even got my daughter painting, so she painted this one for my girlfriend for her birthday. You guys see that? These are all pouring paints that I did. They're really nice. My girlfriend has them hanging up on her walls in the room. This is a tutorial that I did. This one's nice. This one is also a tutorial. This one I painted on my own. I painted this for my girlfriend for her birthday. She smokes. <laughs> But I don't. This I got as a tutorial. This right here. Somebody actually bought this, but it's still hanging up in my wall. Um, this is a tutorial. I painted that on my own. This is a tutorial. This one I painted by myself. This is a pouring paint that I did. I feel like if you look close, close enough, you can see the girl right here. I feel like this is like a man or something like that. I don't know. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you see. This is a tutorial. This is a pouring paint that I did by myself. I did this one. It's supposed to be like a wedding gown or something like that. This, these two right here I did by myself. Just plain and simple. This is a tutorial. This one, somebody posted it on a Facebook group and said if anybody can paint this and I tried my best. This one right here is a picture that I got off of Google. Somebody took a picture. This one I did by myself. I don't I'm not done with this one. I still want to add more stuff down here. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think I should add to this painting. This one's not done. This is a pouring paint. Uh, Alila did this one. My, my six-year-old did this one. I did this. My six-year-old did this one. C came out really nice. My six-year-old Alila did this. 
and then she did this one. It's kind of like the one that I did in the room. You should try to copy. And then I did this by myself. And then this one was a picture that I got off of Google. My daughter decided to add some birdies to it for special effects. Like I said, were tutorials and some of them I did by myself. Um, I have more paintings that are in the closet, hanging like in the closet, whatever on the top shelf. And I have other paintings that are in storage. But I just wanted to show you guys the main ones that I like that are hanging up that are on display in my house. Just so you guys could just see them. I don't know, I want to show you guys. And just so you guys can like, I don't know, maybe feel inspired if you or someone that you know is fighting depression and um if you want to find something like for you to do to occupy yourself or if you know somebody that you love that is fighting depression and you want to find something fun and something like something to do with them to like get their mind occupied and like get them to not think about whatever is making them depressed I suggest trying to find a hobby and I suggest trying to find things that are going to make you feel happy and just just find things that are going to bring you joy such as going for walks or reading a book or listening to music some of the things that I find that I found that have helped me overcome depression and I still do these things because why not like I enjoy it so like I take baths with Epsom salt and I sometimes go for walks for 30 minutes or sometimes I do meditate guided meditations. I pray. I believe in Jesus. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. So I pray. Um, I listen to music. I paint. I bake cakes. I decorate cakes. Um, I cook. Your girl does cook. Look at this little on that chunky side. I cook. Um, what else do I do? I play with my daughter. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I do to to bring myself joy. I write. I have a blog, like a blogger website that I write and I go and I just write whatever's on my mind. I would like for you guys to check that out, actually. I will leave my link for my blogger site down below in the description box below go ahead and go read those couple articles that i wrote some pretty deep good stuff it'll, it'll show you guys a little bit more about me and like get to know me a little bit more and like where i came from and stuff um i'm pretty sure you know there's a lot of people out there that have their stories and that have been through stuff and gone through things and whether you overcame it or why whether you're still going through it or going through it or you know someone who's going through it um this video is just to inspire you to just find things to occupy yourself and bring yourself joy um fighting depression is not easy but if you can get out of your own head and find an outlet to occupy yourself it's easier for you to not think about that stuff because what depression is is it, it's it's like a dark hole it wants you to like stay down and dark and stay bored and stay miserable and you got to get out of that you got to turn on the light you got to open your windows you got to get some fresh air you've got to do things that are going to make you feel good about yourself and just practice self-love and do things that are going to bring you joy such as painting so that's the end of this video. I hope I inspired you, whoever's watching this. If you're fighting depression or if you know somebody who is, also make sure you reach out and get help. Um, if you've seen a painting on my wall that you like and you want it, um, leave a comment down below. Um, or you can write me on Instagram or send me a message on Messenger. Um, and yeah, and we'll go from there. I'll send you a painting. Like, why not? And thank you guys for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, I noticed that I've been getting more subscribers ever since I posted that video about Damien Cryer cash apping me for Thanksgiving. And I got more subscribers again last night from doing that video from inboxing Damien Cryer about him wanting to collab with me and stuff. So just thank you guys for subscribing and thank you for joining the family. 
Um, and that's it, you guys. Just subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Hit that like button in the face. Leave a comment down below if you guys want one of those paintings. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Till next time. Peace, love, and grace to you guys. Okay? Till next time.